You know, you look quite terrible. Usually when a girl wakes up in the morning, she first goes over to the mirror to have a look at herself. Then she fixes up her appearance. So just go brush your hair before going to school. Be sure to take your guitar with you as well, because I will be taking you to your guitar lesson after I'm done at work. The teacher called and said that he really wants to see you today. But mom, can I rather skip my guitar class today? No, dear. You have to go. I mean, please just tell me why do you have to be like this now? Why are you so different from your peers who have interests and hobbies? Okay, kids, I'm going to be explaining carbohydrates to you. It would be great if you took notes. They are generally formulated as follows. Produced by plants through a process called photosynthesis, an excess amount of carbohydrates can turn into fat, and it might be a reason for gaining weight. I will now be explaining their functions. Okay, it participates in the structure of the cell wall in the plants. Now I am going to be repeating their characteristics, so listen. Are you okay? What's wrong with you? This is the song you always play. Why so many mistakes? Nothing's wrong. Let's first relax now. Let me relax with you, okay? You're shaking. I don't think I can do it today. Please let me go and tell my parents I was here. No way. You're very talented in this. We've been together for a long time. You have improved, and you have grown. You aren't a child anymore. You're a young lady. I wish we were the same age, but the age doesn't matter. You should touch your guitar more like this if you want to make music. You should be gentle, and you should surrender yourself to it. Please, Amiko, I must go right now. Sue, come down for dinner, it's ready. Your guitar teacher called me again. He said you seemed unenthusiastic in lessons. You know, he worries a lot about you. Look, Mom, I no longer want to go to any guitar lessons, okay? But you have been working hard for ten years. Even when you were little, you were so enthusiastic. Did something upset you, my dear? Are you feeling too much pressure? You don't have to play in the concert. I'd be surprised if you actually completed a task. She gets bored of everything nowadays. With all of the money we've spent on those private lessons for the past 10 years, we could have bought a car. I don't want to hear any objections. You playing in the concert is a must. Remember that all of your friends and their families will be watching you while you play the guitar. And both your father and I will be so proud of you. But my honey, aren't we maybe forcing her a bit too much? The whole matter is closed. Hello? How are you? Come on, Sue. What is wrong with you now? Everyone can see how sad you are nowadays. It'll only get worse if you don't talk about it. Let us just assume that if someone did something to you that you didn't want him to do at all, what would you do? I don't really know. I think it would depend on what the person did to me. Wait a second. Did someone do something I wanted to you? Here at school? Or in your family? No, of course not. Was it one of your teachers? It wasn't one from school. But my guitar teacher. So I've heard similar complaints to yours from other students before, but I was not sure if it was the same person. Everything started a year ago. Or at least that is when I first noticed it. At first it was just him touching my hand to control it during our guitar lessons, but he didn't do it when the other students were around us. Afterwards he started sitting next to me, which followed with him making contact with his knee. Then he began to touch my leg and my hair, but I still didn't quite know why he was doing all of that to me. Later on he got quite comfortable with making dirty jokes. 
I know I should have gone to my parents, but I was very scared. Because he's a teacher everyone loves and trusts, and I thought about how much value my word would hold against the word of such a respectable person. I once attended a seminar, and the situation you're mentioning right now is what they spoke about. If you're ever faced with a situation, you should openly tell your parents, or people you deeply trust. So that is exactly what you have to do. But what if my parents don't believe me? Before I had found excuses not to continue with other courses, I know they'll just think it's another excuse. Are you excited, my dear? One week until the concert. If you feel pressured, you don't have to go on stage, my beautiful daughter. Can you please just set a good example for our daughter now? What do you mean when you say she doesn't have to go on stage? She got bored of ballet and then she got bored of swimming next. And at least she's doing well in music now. Do you want our daughter to be an ordinary person without a hobby? Is that what you want, dear? Sue, it is completely normal to feel like this. You will be in front of a large crowd, but once you overcome your stage fright, then I know you will never give up, my darling. Mom, listen. I really don't want to do music lessons anymore. Sue, what do you mean you don't want to? You have to continue. Everyone struggles time to time, but once you get through it, you grow as a person. So please don't make this difficult. You'll still be going. Please try to understand me. Please try to understand what I'm saying is tough. Can you understand that? Do you think... I don't know. Hold it straight a bit, like this. Correct. Okay, stop. What do you think you're doing now? Excuse me, what do you mean? For months, I've been asking myself if I'm exaggerating or misunderstood you, but enough! Now I won't allow you to touch me anymore. Oh, admit it. Don't you like it too? You're a disgusting person. I will tell everyone about you. Do you really think they will believe a child who is just trying to attract attention while crushed under the ambitions of her mother? Or someone like me, a well-respected teacher. So stop this and grab your guitar. What do you think you're doing? I will report you. Don't you dare think this is over. From now on, you can't get away with this. We recorded everything. Now tell the police what you have to say about all of that. There's no need for the police. Please forgive me, or else I'll lose everything. I beg. Enough, just stop now. My dear, I'm so sorry. If I'd listened to you from the very beginning, then this problem would possibly not even have happened in the first place. Forgive me, my dear. I only wanted you to be successful, that's all. But you didn't want me to be successful, Mom. You ignored my needs so that everyone else could see my success. We apologize, dear. Can you please forgive us both? I promise you this will never happen again, dear. <laughs>